Tonight kicked off a fiery feast of a show during the 2015 Billboard Music Awards, and Clever's Trophy Life is bringing you all of the best award show coverage. I mean, between T Swift's Bad Blood music video debut, sweating in our seats in anticipation for the winners to be announced, and a few tears shed during a special Breakfast Club tribute, it was a complete success, you guys. But those are only a few of the best Billboard moments. We are breaking them all down right now. Alrighty, so need I mention the opening of the BBMAs once more, aka the catastrophically epic showdown that is Taylor Swift's music video for Bad Blood? But it was just so fierce that it is worth the second mention. And I especially love that Taylor brought the video to life on the red carpet because she appeared hand in hand with her squad, leaving us with double the squad envy we began the night with. R.I.P. me. So after the world tried to keep its cool following T-Swift's video, the hosts of the award show, Chrissy Teigen and Ludacris, made their way to the stage, but not before Chrissy, being the bully she totally is, tripped a poor passerby and didn't even stop to say sorry. Okay, so I'm totally just kidding. She is not a bully, and she probably didn't even realize that homegirl ate face, but it's really not an award show without a token fall. Coming in at number three, the first award of the evening was the award for top duo slash group, and it was given to the new fearless foursome One Direction. Congrats to my favorite lads out there! But Directioners, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I am reporting to you that Larry is no more, and Neri is now in full force! So Harry did give Niall a little grab down under, if you know what I mean, when they stood up to accept their award. Total bromance moment. And while I'm on the topic of 1D, as they were accepting their award for top duo group, they did not leave the stage without thanking one very important person. Uh, and as Nal said, this one's for the fans, but there's one more person to share this with, and that's our brother Zane. So thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Oh, it's so nice to see that despite the ongoing Twitter wars and that whole heated debate, they still have love for their former fifth member. The next award of the evening, which marks the fifth best moment on our list, was when the T-Swift award sweep commenced. She took home her first of eight trophies for Top 200 album and gave a little tease of a PDA moment to the world as she passionately hugged and kissed her tall man friend, Calvin Harris. And might I add that there was just something much more intimate about this hug than over all of the other hugs she gave. Ah, Kaylor, you're killing us with cuteness! Okay, moving on, we all know that Sam Smith has been resting after having vocal cord surgery recently, but that did not completely silence him from giving very strict orders during his acceptance speech for top male artist. All with the help of cue cards, of course. On his cards, he wrote three very specific orders to his pals, saying, quote, Seeing you guys are in Vegas, Taylor, put a 100 on black for me. Nikki, oh my god, look at her bum. And Ed, I've organized a special dance for you at Chippendales. Sign me up! Coming in at best moment number seven, I am so very pleased to reveal to you all that Britney is back and she's never looked better. Britney Spears and Iggy Azalea took to the stage to perform their new hit, Pretty Girls. Take a look. Right, so they may or may not have been lip syncing throughout the entire track, but that didn't even matter when Brit Brit whipped out her old school dance moves in that black cutout jumpsuit, and Iggy Iggs got a whole new do going on. Work, ladies. Now, best moment numero eight brings me to the throwback moment of the night, the iconic 1985 Breakfast Club movie tribute. The band Simple Minds took to the stage to perform the movie's famous ending credit song, Don't You Forget About Me, and Molly Ringwald, who starred in the film, took the stage to deliver a very heartfelt speech about the film's 30th anniversary. She also took this opportunity to ask Taylor Swift if she could be included in her squad, and Taylor being Taylor totally welcomed Molly with open arms and soon after the two were seen hugging and dancing together as the whole world took notes on how to ask T Swift to join the squad including me and basically everyone at Clever but who's counting and finally the BBMAs wouldn't be a successful award show without a little booing am I right now personally 
I don't know what's wrong with people. Let's hashtag spread the love, everybody. But this time, like many times before, the Jenner sisters were the butt of the booing. Not cool, but to break it down, as they took to the stage to announce Kanye's performance, I'm really not sure if the audience was booing them or Kanye or both or what was going on. It's an honor to introduce this great artist, a friend, an inspiration, a brother, and now a doctor. I want to know what your favorite moment was, and if you have one that I did not mention on the show, be sure to let me know what it is by leaving a comment below, or of course you can tweet me at Dana Ward online to get the conversation going, or if you just want to chat about the new T-Swift Kendrick Lamar collab that is on iTunes right now, tweet me. I want to hear what you think. And speaking of bad blood, you can click right over here to check out seven things we loved from the music video. I want to watch it again right now. Isn't it so good? Yes, it is. Yes, I'm talking to myself. It's totally good, right? All right. Thanks so much for checking in with Clever's Trophy Life. I'm your host, Dana Ward, a.k.a. Bad Blood's Detective, and I'll catch you later. And while you're here, click to the left to check out a full winner's recap of the evening, and then you can click to the right to check out the best and worst dressed.